In case you've just joined us, I've already made plenty of videos where I point out the fantasy plenty people have about no one chooses to be gay or gay is not a choice and I just talk about how it's obviously a choice and the following is an example of how gay can be a choice. I have a profile on OkCupid, this is a dating site, and the options they give you are straight, gay, and bisexual. That's all it gives you, although there are more sexual orientations. Come across this girl. She's listed as gay, and she's attractive to me. Plenty of women that identify as gay are attractive to me, and I know what you're thinking. Oh, probably because she, you know, you like lesbians, and oh, they have a, you know, she was all tarted up. No, she's that kind of woman who doesn't buy into bullshit culture. She's wearing no makeup. She looks like a person. That's attractive to me, and plenty of women that finally just decide, you know what, I'm not going to be some cartoonish ornament. I'll be gay. Instead of just saying, you'll know, forget this, and then being attractive to guys like me, they just give up. So she has identified as gay. She has this big old profile. I've read, I've read the profile, but you come to this part. It's very interesting. She says, I hope it doesn't matter. She's listed as gay, but she says, I hope it doesn't matter that I'm technically bi, bisexual, has sex with men and women. Ooh, like all of us are born bisexual, meaning we don't discriminate against the opposite gender or the same gender. We don't discriminate. We learn that. Gay people aren't born discriminating against the opposite gender and saying, I won't have sex with you unless you have the same genitals as me. No, there's this gene that makes you not want to have sex with people that have the same genes or genitals. It's the gay gene. Nope. Check this out. I hope it doesn't matter. I'm technically bi. The OkCupid system kept sending me guy matches, as in the, like, hey, you're, you're bisexual. Here's a guy you might be interested in. They kept sending me guy matches when I was... Uh, even though I'm here primarily for women and transsexual men, the women trans uh, into men. Although I'm not averse to guys in general, hence stating I'm bi. So just saying, gals don't hold it against me, otherwise we're not a match. And guys, I'm not easy or into other stereotypical desires. I sent her a message and pointed out to her that she is into a stereotypical desire. The desire to not seem easy. That's a hugely stereotypical desire. Girls in our culture love to be a stereotype, which is, I'm not easy. And I mentioned to her further that everyone's easy if you have the right life hack. I'm so interesting when I send messages. But imagine that. I know that the goal... The, the goal post, the goal line is going to be continuously changed because this is an emotional argument by homo heroifiers who think it's more legitimate if they're helpless and they're just attracted. I don't remember making a choice, so I never did make a choice. But imagine that, even though the goal will change, this person absolutely chose to be gay. Like, put a little thing and said, I am not bi, I am gay because I'm sick of getting matched with guys when I'm here mostly for women. I'm bisexual, but I want to focus on girls, so I'm gay. She chose to be gay. And that's how all gay people and heterosexual people are. They don't like some element of identifying as bi or identifying as heterosexual. So they say, I am gay. Now they try to hide behind because they've heard it's a little more legitimate and that you can justify it if you're helpless to it. So they hide behind the notion, oh no, it's not a choice, I was born there. Scientists, they, they just buy into the appeal to scientists. Scientists have identified a gay gene. Really a gene that makes you not want to get matched with guys on OkCupid. So you put gay so that you don't have to, you know, I'm here to, to, to fuck girls. We're put on this earth perfectly comfortable receiving and giving pleasure to either gender. There's no, again, gene that tells you don't be attracted to the opposite sex. You want people that are the same sex. Because keep in mind, everybody is judging the opposite sex by these false things. Like, I'm look, I'm a straight guy, which means I want somebody with concave genitalia who grows her hair long and shaves her armpits. and sh That's not a woman. That's these little made-up things. Oh, you know, a woman. Somebody who isn't good at stuff. Somebody who's petty and wastes their money. A woman. These are all made-up things. That's the difference between gender and sex. Gender is this made-up, women act this way, men act this way. So, here you go. I know it won't amount to anything because, again, it's an emotional argument. No, you think that gays don't choose it? Well, then, why did... How, then... Uh, we didn't choose it any more than you choose to be straight. Straight people choose to be straight. They're not born straight. They choose it. 
this girl very specifically chose to be gay. No, no, don't you realize she's she's bi, but she's just saying she's gay because blah, 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 blah. Right. And everyone else who says they're gay or straight, they're just saying that. Well, no, because sometimes you get so emotionally insecure at trying to be with the opposite sex that you just, you really identify. Yeah, I know. I know all about how when you... When it suits you, when you don't like the opposite sex for whatever reason. It's not that, I just like the same sex. Then every single person who thinks like that has a story of a falling out with the same sex or with the opposite sex, whichever one made them their sexual orientation. No one has that story of nothing has happened in my life and I'm just gay or straight. Nothing at all. I haven't had any experiences with the same sex or opposite sex that would encourage me to prefer one or the other in this culture of monogamy and sexual exclusivity. Keep that in mind when you think of, you're straight or you're gay. This is all the mindset of people saying, you have to pick one person, so which do you prefer? The penises or the penisless? And you only pick one, and whichever one you pick, you're gay or straight. Meanwhile, you're not going to come across somebody who at some time thought, well, I'd like to be with several people and have them as my friends. Before you knew that if someone's friends enough with you, you're supposed to want to put something in there. or You're supposed to want to take their thing. You're like, hey, I like all of you. Why must we compete? Let's all just hug in a big pile. Then hugging becomes you know, fucking. But you didn't know that as a kid. You just wanted to be around more than one person. You fast forward learned foolishness of sexual exclusivity. It's fine, it's useful. It's useful for disease control and population control, whatever. But it's not genetic. It's not like, genetically, we're all predisposed to wanting to be monogamous and sexually exclusive and pick one person, and I prefer those genitals, therefore I'm straight or gay. No, it's all made up. This girl chose to be gay.